Hey, be careful with those ornaments, you idiot. Oh, uh, sorry, sir. What in the scales? Hey, laughing lizard, what is going on? Oh, well, you see here, we're decorating for Christmas since it's December 24th. Chrysler Christmas? What? No, you old pair of boots. Don't you guys know what Christmas is? Um, no, we never celebrated it in our old plush dimension. Oh, I have an idea. How about we go around and see if we can ask more people about this strange holiday? Ugh, I sure hope these portals stop opening up. I'm sick and tired of explaining things to new idiots. Here's your happy frog. Thank you, sir. Merry Christmas. Hi, Mr. Yeti. Well, if it is my best customers, Toy Bonnie, Red Bear, and Monty. You seem kind of confused, Toy Bonnie. Is there something I can help you with? Well, we were kind of wondering if you could tell us about this confusing holiday of Christmas. Are you just saying this because I'm a winter yeti? Uh, uh, that, that's not what... So you just think that because I look like the yeti and root off the red-nosed reindeer that I would know what Christmas is? No, no, I just assumed... You assumed? You assumed? I'm just kidding. I'm just yanking your tail. Yeah, I could tell you. Um, but just bear with me, though. I'm not the best at explaining things. Basically, the main gist of this holiday is where an old fat guy watches your behavior, and if you're good, he'll give you presents. Wait, this holiday is about a fat stalker? Oh, my scaly friend. That's not the weirdest part. If you're good, he'll deliver the presents to you. By dropping it off on their doorsteps? Uh, no. By breaking in by going down their chimneys. What you're telling me is not only does he watch you all year long, but he breaks into your house? This holiday just gets weirder and weirder. Yeah, well, this holiday is awesome you give others gifts. Other than that, I don't know what else to tell you besides it snows a lot. Well, is there anyone else you know that could tell us about this holiday? Hmm, let me think. Oh, your friend Toy Freddy was doing some Christmas shopping earlier. He could probably tell you. Well, thanks. We'll ask him. You're welcome, friends. See you later, and Merry Christmas. What? Did you just swear to me in a different language? No, 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 no. It's just the greeting that you say around this time of year. Come on, Monty. We got a lot to learn. Have a holy jolly Christmas. It's the best time. Shoot, I dropped the tree again. It's a holy jolly Christmas. Hey, Toy Freddy. Oh, hi guys. We were kind of wondering if you could tell us about Christmas. We were wondering if you could tell us as well. This holiday seems very confusing. And you seem to be the only one of us who has the answers. Oh, that's right! You guys never celebrated Christmas before. I forgot that we didn't have it back on our home world. Yeah, I could tell you guys, but strap yourselves in. It can get quite confusing, as you have learned. So, to begin, the main thing you need to know about this holiday is... An old fat stalker who watches you and then breaks into your house without your consent? Well, yes, but no. Basically, an old plump fellow watches you all year long with his army of elves, and if you're good, they put you on this thing called the nice list. However, if you've been bad for most of the year, then they put you on the naughty list. Why does it matter to them that you are nice all year long? And why does it matter to be on the nice list? Well, my jagged tooth friend, they do this so that way if you're good, they come and deliver you presents. Where basically, you write a letter to them saying what you would like for this year, and then they give it to you if you've been good. However, if you've been bad, you get a lump of coal in your stocking. So, how exactly does he give the presents to you? So you see, Toy Bonnie, he goes around the world all in one night and delivers the presents. Either, you know, the good ones, or the ones that you get if you're on the naughty list. Oh, and since I know one of you is going to ask, he flies around the world all in one night by using a magic sleigh pulled by his magic flying reindeer. Don't ask how they're flying because I have no idea. Um, and you know, flies around the world delivering presents till the next day. And yes, he does break into your house while doing this. 
It's all in the good Christmas spirit to deliver your gifts, so that way you don't notice. So, any questions? Why do people cut down Christmas trees and put them in their house? That is a very good question, Jacko Chica. I'm not entirely sure of why, but I'm guessing it's that way people have a space to put presents from Santa or to other people in the household. What is Christmas music and what be Christmas movies? Christmas music is music that sings or just has a nice melody that goes along with the feeling of Christmas and, you know, gets people in the mood for it. Same thing with Christmas movies, pretty much, except it's usually people celebrating it or crazy shenanigans ensuing. Kind of like here. What was that? Hmm? No, nothing, nothing. All right, I think that sums up everything. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I think I'm going to start on my Christmas list. Say here. Uh, idiots. All right, players, since it's Christmas Eve, we have decided to give you today and tomorrow off. But after that, it's back to the games. You're welcome. They're finally gone! Um, sir? Are you okay? You seem really tense. He... He warned me about him. Sir, what are you talking about? Who warned you about what? The boss, number one. He warned me about Santa Claus. Now why did he warn you about that old bowl of jelly? Don't you have a single clue about how that old man works? He's a goody two-shoes. Once he flies over the kelp sea and sees what our operation is, he'll shut us down faster than you can say. That's how the cookie crumbles. You're a villain, aren't you? Just capture him and threaten him to ignore it or else. Hmm, that could work. That isn't the worst idea of how to deal with this old elf. Well, alrighty, smarty pants. Since it was your idea, you get to come help me capture him. Wait, no, no, no. I was coming to ask if I could have the holidays off. Come along now, number one. We have much to prepare. Ugh, me and my big mouth. How are you lists coming along, guys? Well, to 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 toy Freddy, they're coming along quite, quite, quite nicely. Say, Monty, don't you want to write a letter to Santa? I don't believe in this. Has anyone even seen this guy, toy Freddy? Well, no, but... Exactly. Whoa, Monty, be careful what you say. Santa gives clumps of coal to people who don't believe in him. Toy Bonnie, that doesn't make any sense. What about the parents who don't believe in him? Or the people who celebrate different holidays? I'm not five years old. You can't say, Oh, he gives you a lump of coal in your stocking. That doesn't make any sense. Only if you were a baby you'd believe that. A word of advice, fellas. Don't believe everything you hear because everyone else celebrates it. Oh, uh, don't worry about him, guys. Some people just choose not to believe. Agents! I just received a message from the North Pole. Santa's been kidnapped. What? Then what are we sitting around here for? We gotta do something about it. Whoa, easy there, Brownie. We don't, we can't do anything about it. What do you mean we can't do anything about it? You see, Brownie, on Christmas Eve and on Christmas Day, it's against the law to complete any missions. So I'm afraid there's nothing we can do. Well, if we can't do anything about it, then why did you tell us? Ooh, yeah, that's a bit of an oversight on my part. Apologies. Um, wait, what about your friends, Brownie? The ones that you saved recently on our last mission? Oh, I get what you're saying, Agent O. We can ask them to do it since they're not legally agents. And then, Santa could be saved. Yes, splendid. However, you're gonna need to do it. I'm too busy drinking all the eight gallons of eggnog we still have in the fridge. Can't let it expire. <laughs> Tell me, why is he in charge again? Well, he writes the checks. 
Hello, Fazbear residents. Toy Freddy speaking. Hello, Toy Freddy. It's me, Brownie. See, we got a bit of a situation down at the agency, and we need a little bit of a favor. Sure, man. Anything for the guy who saved my life the other day. Great to hear. Um, I just would wish of you to not to ask any questions, as we are kind of on a tight schedule here, and there's a lot at stake. Um, alright. What do you need me to do? Okay, so, um, Santa has been kidnapped, and we sort of need you and your friends to go save him. Wait, what? Okay, thanks. We'll send you the coordinates. Good luck. Oh, frostbite. So you're saying we need to go on a rescue mission to rescue someone who doesn't even exist? I know, I know. It, it sounds crazy, but Brownie didn't really give us a choice. Well, if you mateys really think about it, he did save us from Mr. Lawrence that one time. Now that is a very good point, Grim Foxy. I think we should do it to return the favor. You know what? I do as well. I was the one mainly being attacked at first, so I think I at least should go. If you think you're going alone, Fazbear, you've got another thing coming. Look, I caught me in as well. You guys are all flippin' idiots! Don't you see this is a waste of our time? Sorry, Montgomery. It looks like the majority thinks otherwise. Oh, fine. But if we figure out that Santa doesn't even exist, I will say the biggest I told you so, and I told you so history. I don't think he knows that's not in a record book. I know that's not a record, but still. All right, team. Let's go. Man, that was almost too easy. Who knew kidnapping Santa was one of the least hard things a villain can do? <laughs> yeah, easy. So, where are we taking him, sir? Oh, don't you worry about that, number one. I have something special for him. Well, you're not gonna get to that part of your plan. I'm sorry, who are you and why are you here? I'm here to stop you. First of all, you didn't answer my first question. Second of all, you don't come up to some masked stranger in the middle of the night like you're some kind of Batman or something. And third of all, don't answer rhetorical questions made by villains. They can easily just shoot you. Yeah. <coughs> I guess you could say I'm like some kind of Batman. However, unlike him, I'm not alone. No! What the? Sir! Oh. Yeah! Hold them off, number one! Alright, sir. Hey, he's getting away. Yeah! Get over me or I'll shoot you! Ugh. Wait, where's Toy Freddy? Use. It'll take me a Christmas miracle to find <coughs> Santa. Who are you? Help me, please! Uh, Santa? Up here, my boy! Wow. I really gotta do a lot more out loud wishing. But how am I gonna <coughs> get up there? The ornament should provide enough leverage for you, as well as the branches, of course. Well, all right. Here goes nothing. You know, <laughs> this isn't that bad. Be careful down there. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I think I broke my everything. Three hours later.
<sighs> Finally! Perfect! Now, can you please keep me down? Wait, Squash? You, you're Santa? Oh, 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 yes! The one and only! I'll tell you all about it. Once we're back on solid ground, of course. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh! 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 Not again. Well, at least we're free from danger. Hold it right there, Fazbear! Whoa, easy there, Mart. I understand that you are- Save it, Jelly Man! No amount of coal or Christmas spirit will put a stop to me! Let's just be rational. Just listen to what he says. I wouldn't want to get shot again. Shut it, Top Hat, or I'll blow your brains across the pavement. You have to stop this. You... You don't understand what I'm up against. What... What I've been through. Of course I understand. I'm Santa Claus. You come from a broken home. Literally, your dad broke your favorite mug. And because of that, I brought you something. I was gonna give it to you at your little hideout, but this whole ordeal happened. Ooh, oh, oh, give me a second. It's a little heavy. You... you brought me my favorite mug? All... all the pain... from so many years... gone. Thank you, Santa. I... I'm sorry for... for what I've done. So, are you gonna be good? I will now, Santa. Let me just... Give me a second, guys. Okay. Goodbye. Forgot my gun. It warms your heart seeing a poor soul like that. Feel the joy of Christmas. That's why I do what I do. Well, Santa, <coughs> I'd say you did a good. <coughs> Freddy! Freddy, wake up! Oh, oh, what happened? You were losing a lot of blood due to your bullet wound. Yeah, your left of Santa was able to use his magic to help you. What your friend here means is I use my medical expertise. It's the elves that have all the magic. Now, since it's all over and you're finally awake, I wanted to say no one could say anything about tonight. If anyone found out I was actually a grumpy old man instead of a jolly old guy, well, this holiday could be ruined. Santa, how are you going to deliver the presents? Aren't you way behind schedule? Ho ho ho, I'm Santa Claus, Dreadbear. I'll figure it out. And if you all go home now, you might find something special under your tree in the morning. Will we ever see you again? What kind of question is that, Toy Freddy? I work for a news company. Of course you'll see me again. And you'll see the real me if you stay up on Christmas Eve. Hey guys, it's me, Jim and Bendy. And now that the video's over, I want to take this time to say thank you guys so much for watching the video. And Merry Christmas to you all. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, that's totally fine. Um, I guess happy holidays then, but I celebrate Christmas, so that's why I made this special. And this video is a way of me, uh, me showing my appreciation for the amazing year that we had for the channel. We had so many new videos uploaded with tons of love added to them. I did have a bit of a struggle getting back onto the channel this year, but it's fine. It was all because of the haunted house, so it was all out of me just working on another project at the time. And thank you guys so much for all the new subscribers. I'm guessing you guys probably shared to tell people about my channel, or maybe they just randomly found it. So maybe your guys' love and support has told the algorithm to show me more to people, which is gonna, which basically is you guys doing it either way. So thank you guys so much for that. And thank you for the thousands of views I received this year. Holy cow, I like got 4,000 views. 
not on one specific video, but in total for the whole year. I was so pleased to see that, and I'm so happy that you guys watched my cringy plush videos, my somewhat stupid gaming videos, but it's really just because I don't really have a good software right now for editing, so I'll make sure I can get enough money to get a good editing software and get good at it um, before I start really having some good um, quality content for you all. So until then, this is my small present for you all. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you stay a little bit longer, you'll see a little bit more to this story. You haven't forgotten the plan, have you? Uh, uh, of, of course not. I had a meeting at the palm of my hand. <laughs> Good, because our plans have been set in motion, and they cannot be stopped. <laughs>